the story of lonely princess and the kind bee. Far away in the kingdom lived a beautiful and kind princess named Karini. His parents, the king and empress, loved her very much. Princess Karini is an amiable princess and loves to help others. This mad princess Karini not only loved by the king and empress but also by all the people of the kingdom. Whenever she leaves the palace for a walk, Princess Karini always greets people she meets on the street. Good morning, uncle. Good morning, princess. Good morning, Grandma. Oh, hello. Good morning, beautiful Princess Karini. That's Princess Karini. She always greets anyone she meets in a friendly manner. Whether the person she meets is a noble or a commoner. But then... Princess Karini suddenly changed since her mother passed away. Since the Empress passed away, Princess Karini became a gloomy and lonely princess. Princess Karini rarely walked out of the palace and never greeted the kingdom residents again. This made the residents also reluctant to greet the princess. In the morning, while having breakfast with Princess Karini in the dining room, the king said he was concerned about Princess Karini who had been depressed since the Empress passed away. My dear daughter, why do you keep gloomy like this? I miss my daughter's cheerfulness and how you always greet everyone you meet. Why have you changed so much, my dear daughter? I'm still the same, father. I'm still Princess Karini as before. It's just... The people of this kingdom have changed because... I have no mother now. They don't want to greet me anymore. Just like when I had my mother. They all don't love me anymore, father. They never change. They still love you, my dear daughter. You have changed. You've become gloomy and don't want to greet the people you meet now. Hearing her father's words, Princess Karini stopped eating at once. Then, she left the dining table and rushed out of the palace. Princess Karini was sad to hear her father say she had changed. Princess Karini continued to walk away from the palace and soon arrived at a lakeshore not too far from the palace. On the lakeshore, Princess Karini spilled out all her sadness. She wept bitterly. Father also don't love me anymore, like all the people in this kingdom. <laughs> Mother, I miss you so much! Princess Karini kept crying there, and since that day, Princess Karini has always visited the lake every day. She went there to be alone and then burst into tears, spilling all her sorrow. The kingdom residents were reluctant to greet her. And Princess Karini also got a new nickname, The Lonely Princess. One day, Princess Karini's cry was accidentally heard by a honeybee named Heba, who was playing with his friends near their hive. Heba is a kind bee 
and likes to help other bees in trouble. Even though he had no parents, Heba was loved by all members of his colony. Hearing the sound of crying, Heba stopped his playing activity soon. Hey, stop it guys! Do you hear the sound of crying? Yes, I heard it. The sound comes from the edge of the river over there. I will check it. You wait here, okay? Heba left his friends to check where the crying sound came from. Arriving at the lake shore, Heba saw a beautiful princess crying alone. Heba was hesitant to approach the princess who was crying alone. But finally, Heba decided to approach Princess Karini. Hello, I'm Heba. Why are you crying alone here? Princess Karini stopped crying immediately. She tried to find where the voice she had just heard came from. It turned out that the sound came from a bee who was not far from her. Who are you? I am Heba. I heard a crying sound when I was playing with my friends just now. So I came here and saw you crying alone. Do you need a friend? <laughs> no, I don't need a friend. <laughs> I want to be alone. So please, leave me alone right now. But... I said go right now! Princess Karini's screams made Heba leave the place directly. Heba went back to where his friends played earlier. Heba's friends asked Heba about the crying sound they had heard earlier. How is it, Heba? Did you find who was crying earlier? Yeah, I found it. The crying sound came from Princess Karini, the princess of this kingdom. Why did she cry so sad like that? I don't know. She told me to go away. Don't go there! It's dangerous! No, I will try to keep accompanying her, no matter what happens. I'm very sure she needs a friend. So the next day, Heba approached Princess Karini who was crying alone by the lecture again. And just like the previous day, Princess Karini chased Heba away again and told him not to approach her again. But Heba never gave up. He continued to accompany Princess Karini every day by the lecture. One day, Princess Karini felt very angry because Heba kept coming to her, who was crying alone by the lake shore. How many times do I have to tell you? I want to be alone. I don't want to be accompanied by anyone. I want to be alone. I know how you feel. You must be unfortunate. I'm here to accompany you. You can't be sad all the time. No, no, you don't know how I feel. I know it very well. My parents passed away when I was younger, so I do know how you feel. Hearing Heba's words, Princess Karini stopped crying. She thought of Heba's words earlier. Princess Karini kept quiet until the afternoon. The beautiful princess also no longer drove Heba to leave her alone. She let Heba accompany her until it was almost evening. It's almost evening. I'm going back to my hive. You should also return to the palace, princess. The king must be looking for you. 
Princess Karini didn't say a word. She remained quiet as Hebe prepared to leave the lecture to return to his hive in one of the trees not far from the lecture. But apparently, Princess Karini secretly followed Heba back to his hive. She was curious about the life of the honeybee. Arriving at Heba's hive, Princess Karini, who was peeking from behind a tree near Heba's hive, saw Heba was greeted warmly by the entire bee colony. Finally, you've returned, Heba! Where did you go? I accompanied Princess Karini, who was crying alone by the lakeshore, Uncle. You are very kind to everyone, Heba. Here, drink first. After that, you can rest. You must be tired from accompanying the princess so late on. Heba accepted the drink given by his aunt. Heba also thanked his aunt. Thank you, Auntie. Princess Karini continued to watch Heba from the back of a tree that grew not far from Heba's hive. She became curious to see that the other bee colonies loved Heba so much. Why do all the bees love this little bee so much? I... I also want to be loved like that. I have to ask the little bee how to be loved by everyone. Tomorrow... Tomorrow he will surely meet me again by the lake shore. I'll ask the little bee over there. Princess Karini immediately left there and returned to the palace immediately. When she was in her room before going to bed, Princess Karini kept thinking about Heba, who was warmly greeted by all the bees in his colony. She also thought about Heba's words earlier that she should not always be sad. That little bee is right. I should not keep being sad and alone like this. But now no one loves me like before. My father and the people of this kingdom don't love me anymore. They don't want to greet me every time they pass me by. How, how could I make them love me again like before? I have to find a way. Princess Karini kept thinking about how to make the entire kingdom love her again like before. She also thought that she should ask Heba how. Yes, I have to ask the little bee how to make everyone love me again like before. In that case, I must go to bed now to wake up early and wait for him by the lake shore tomorrow morning. Princess Karini finally fell asleep. She slept very soundly like a kitten sleeping in her mother's arms. Princess Karini woke up very early in the morning. After having breakfast with the king, she rushed to the lake shore to meet Heba. After arriving at the lake, she saw that Heba had not arrived, so she decided to pick Heba from his hive. The little bee is not here yet. Then I'll meet him at his hive. Princess Karini is getting ready to meet Heba at his hive, but suddenly Heba is already behind her. Where are you going, princess? I was going to your hive, but you're already here. To my hive? What do you want in my hive? Are you looking for me? Yes, I am looking for you. Princess Karini then sat back on the edge of the lake. Finally, Heba also landed on a log near Princess Karini. Why are you looking for me, princess? And why aren't you crying anymore today? Heba's question 
made Princess Karini clumsy. She was confused about what to answer because she didn't know why she didn't cry anymore that day. Um, um, I have a question for you. Question? What question? Um, how are you left by all the bees in your colony? How did you know all the bees in my colony loves me? Princess Karini seemed quiet for a moment. She was hesitant to tell Heba that she followed the little bee to his hive yesterday afternoon. But finally, Princess Karini told Heba the truth. I followed you to your hive yesterday afternoon secretly. And there I saw you were greeted very warmly by all the bees in your colony. You followed me when I returned to my hive? Princess Karini just nodded her head. Heba smiled. Then, Heba told her why all the bees in his colony love him. They all love me because I like to help them. I also always greet every bee I meet. Why do you ask that, princess? Uh, no. I'm just curious. Did you know that I was also loved very much by all the people in this kingdom before? A bit since my mother passed away. They don't love me anymore. I want to be loved again by all the people of this kingdom like before. That's... That's why I'm asking you. Yes, I've heard that all the residents in this kingdom love you. But since your mother passed away, you've turned gloomy and no longer as cheerful as you used to be. If you want to be loved like before, then you must also become the same Princess Karini as before. Princess Karini was surprised. By Heba's answer just now, she asked what Heba's words mean. Princess Karini as before? What do you mean? You must be a cheerful and helpful princess again, like before. That way, you will become the princess who is loved by everyone again. Princess Karini seemed to be thinking about Heba's suggestion, but she also doubts Heba's suggestion. Are you sure I will be loved by all the kingdom's people like before if I'm cheerful and want to help everyone again? Yes, I'm very confident. Try it! Starting tomorrow, you should be a friendly princess and willing to help everyone again. So, Princess Karini began to carry out Heba's advice. She began to greet everyone she met again. Princess Karini also started helping everyone who needed help. And Heba's words proved to be true. Since then, Princess Karini has become a princess whom everyone in the kingdom loves. Princess Karini also never went to the lecture to cry again. She always invites her friends to play together by the lecture and finally makes a friend with Hebel forever.